now we will discuss one more very important problem subjected to impact loading first let us understand the given problem a cantilever beam a cantilever beam of width 50 mm depth is 150 mm is 1.5 meter long okay 1.5 meter long it is struck by a weight of 1000 kil 1000 newtons 1000 newtons that falls from a height of 10 mm that falls from height of 10 mm at its free hand at its free hand okay determine the impact factor maximum deflection maximum stress and maximum load okay this is an given problem first let us analyze the given problem okay the cantilever beam cantilever beam the width of the beam is 50 mm this is a cantilever beam l length of the beam is 1.5 meter long and b width and uh, this is a depth okay and w so here it is struck it is struck by a weight of 1000 newton at its free hand this is the w at h okay that is equal to from a height of 10 mm that is equal to h is equal to 10 mm okay this is a given problem okay a cantilever beam width which is 50 mm depth is 150 mm is 1.5 meter long is 1.5 meter long it is struck by a weight this is the weight okay of 1000 newton 1000 newton 1000 newton that falls from a height small h which is 10 mm at its free end at its free hand determine the impact factor maximum deflection maximum stress and maximum load maximum load this is what we need to find out in this given problem first let us note down the given data let us note down the given data what is the b b is equal to 50 mm okay d is equal to 150 mm 150 mm l is equal to 1.5 meter l is equal to 1.5 meter which is given in the problem that is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 millimeter 10 to the power 3 millimeter next the w the weight which is falls from certain height that is equal to 10 mm small h is equal to 10 mm next what we have w is equal to which is given in the problem the weight it is struck by a weight of 1000 1000 newtons and next we have capital e take e is equal to 206 into 10 to the power 3 newton per mm square newton per mm square here what we need to find out we need to find out deflection y dash we need to find out next maximum stress with respect to this bending sigma b dash we need to find out next what we need to find out we need to find out the maximum load that is equal to w dash and also the impact factor and also the impact factor we need to find out okay this is the given problem okay
first let us find out the the deflection okay with respect to this cantilever beam okay subjected to an impact load subjected to an impact load that is y dash is equal to y into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h divided by y 2 h divided by y okay which is available in the design data handbook okay the equation number the equation number 3.27 the equation number 3.27 okay the nature of the equation is deflection of the end of the cantilever beam reflection of the end of the cantilever beam under impact under impact okay the deflection deflection of end of cantilever cantilever beam under under impact under impact okay this is the nature of the equation now if you substitute all the values into this equation before that what we need to find out first we need to find out this value for y okay so y is equal to y is equal to 1 by 3 1 by third of wl cube divided by ei okay this is the equation which is used to find out the deflection okay where i is nothing but a i is equal to bd cube divided by 12 that we already know that what is a b b is equal to 50 into d is equal to 150 cube divided by 12 if we simplify that i is equal to 40.06 into 10 to the power 6 mm to the power 4 mm to the power 4 okay this is the value for i understood this is the value for i okay next what we need to find out if we substitute this value into this equation okay 1 by 3 into we know the w that is equal to 1000 into what is the l which is 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 cube divided by what is the e 206.8 into 10 to the power 3 into ei i is equal to 14.06 into 10 to the power 6 if we simplify this y is equal to 0 0.388 m this is the deflection of the cantilever beam by using this we need to find out the maximum deflection that is y dash that is y dash if we substitute all the e values into this equation all the values into this equation now you can see that if you want to substitute all the values into this equation here y dash is equal to y dash is equal to 0 0.388 into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 into h h is nothing but a height of the fall that is 10 mm divided by 0 0.388 if you if we simplify this we will get the maximum deflection is 3.17 mm 3.17 3.17 mm 3.17 mm next we need to find out the impact factor that we already know that the equation i f impact factor is equal to 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h divided by y if we substitute here 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 into 10 divided by 0 0.388 0 0.388 if we simplify this if we simplify this we'll get 
i f is equal to i f is equal to 8.18 i f is equal to 8.18 you can also find out that impact factor in one more method that is equal to y dash is equal to y into i f ok we know the y dash we know the y that is equal to i f is equal to i f is equal to ok 3.17 divided by 0. Point, this is the y dash 3.17 divided by 0. 0.388 ok we will get i f is equal to 8.18 okay this is also one of the method which is used to find out the impact factor okay with respect to this uh, given problem okay next what we need to find out we need to find out the sigma b sigma b dash sigma b dash is equal to we know the equation that is equal to sigma b into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 h divided by y okay which is available in the design data handbook the equation number the equation number 3.26 from the design data handbook equation number 3.26 from the design data handbook now if we simply if you substitute that values before that what we need to find out we need to find out the mb okay why we need to find out sigma b we need to find out sigma b is equal to mb by i into c that we already know that what is the bending moment a cantilever beam mb is equal to w into l what is the w that is 1000 into l that is 1 1.5 into 10 to the power 3 got it mb is equal to 1 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 uh, newton millimeter if we simplify this we will get this answer ok the maximum bending moment got it next if we substitute this value into this equation now you can see here where c we know that c is equal to d by 2 d is equal to 150 by 2 ok that is equal to 75 or you can directly substitute here mb is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 6 divided by i we already determined the value for i that is 14.06 14.06 into 10 to the power 6 we know that what is the value for i is equal to ok bd cube divided by 12 bd cube divided by 12 if you substitute that values into that equation we will get the value for i is equal to 14.06 into 10 to the power 6 ok into what is the value for c c is equal to d by 2 that is 150 divided by 2 if we simplify this equation we will get sigma b is equal to sigma b is equal to 8 mpa sigma b is equal to 8 mpa Finally, if you substitute all these values into this equation, sigma b dash is equal to sigma b 8 into 1 plus square root of 1 plus 2 into 10 divided by 0 0.388, 0 0.38, finally we will get okay, 65.99 that is equal to 65.99 that is equal to 66 newton per mm square 66 newton per mm square ok we know the equation that you need to remember ok here w dash is equal to that maximum load w dash is equal to w into the impact factor w into the impact factor you can if you substitute that value into this equation we know the w which is given in the problem 1000 into we know the impact factor which is determined okay here 
this is impact factor is 8.18 8.118 or 8.17 which is if you simplify these two we'll get 8180 newton that is the maximum load that is the wo okay this is the w we will get it okay this is the given problem 